Hey guys, another quick video today. I'm gonna show you guys all the low runes and gems and other items that I always pick up. These are the items you should pick up as well. And you can easily sell them for high runes. All right, um, first of all, flawless gems, all types. I always pick them up, kill them up to perfect gems. I also separate perfect amethyst, perfect ruby and perfect skulls from other perfect gems. I have one character holding each type of gems. And when I get like 140-ish of them, I'll sell them all at once in bulk. So Chip Emerald is another gem I pick up. Uh, the reason why I picked that up is because three Dor runes and one Chip Emerald become one Hell rune. So I always pick up Hell Rune. Uh, same thing with Neff, Soul, Ort, and of course Rail. I pick up Tall as well because three Tall is one Rail. Uh, these are all crafting materials. So there's always going to be buyers. And just like my perfect gems, I sell my low runes in bulk. Uh, besides that, I always pick up essences from bosses and I make tokens and then I sell them in bulk as well. Also, keys, key of hate, uh, key of destruction and key of terror, which I don't have any right now. Always pick them up and I sell them in set. Uh, three times three is one set. So that's what I do. So when I uh, go do farming, I show this in my other video that I talk about why I never care about magic find and my farming route. Uh, you can check that video out, but I'm going to briefly go over here. So when I go do farming, I always farm Countess for the key of terror and Dario for the essence, uh, the summoner for the key of hate. Um, Mephisto for the Essence, Diablo for the Essence, Nelidak for the Key of Destruction, and Bale for the Essence. So that's what I do. Um, these are the items you should pick up and you can easily sell them for high runes. Um, just sell them in bulk. Um, they are all consumable items. So that means um, there are always going to be buyers. Um, you use up one set of keys and you got to find another set. You use up your perfect gems for crafting, you got to find other perfect gems. So yeah, very easily to sell them for high runes. And uh, while you uh, farm all this uh, low runes and gems and keys, I'm pretty sure those are not the only items you're gonna find. Um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find some you need um, or charm or rune work base, whatever that might be, okay? So you're gonna find something else too. But just by farming this, picking up all of this, you can easily sell them for high runes. And that's what I always do. And you should do this as well. So that's pretty much it guys, um, thank you guys for watching uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.